In this video, we'll take a look at how to add line numbers to a document. And adding line numbers can be really useful when you're sharing documents with another person or persons, and you're providing edits, or perhaps you're working with a student or you're a mentor to someone, and you want to give them some specific feedback on their document. This can be really helpful. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. It's very easy to do. If I go to Page Layout, and then I select here Line Numbers, and then click Continuous, notice what that's done. That's numbered every line in the document. So now I can, for example, say, instead of saying, oh, in the uh, third paragraph on page three, or the third paragraph of chapter four, uh, there's a grammatical error. Instead, I can say, go to line 111, and there's an error in line 111. Line 102 is unclear. Line 40 needs a comma, for example. This is a very easy way to point out to someone where edits need to be made, or where we want to look for attention at a business meeting. Everyone turn to line 39. Now here we're making the point that we want to expand our reach and you know so on and so forth. Now there's different ways to do these line numbers. For example, I could go to restart at every page, and then that starts at one with each page. But I don't really find that to be useful because now if I say go to line eight, now I have to say page one, page two, and so forth. So my preference is for continuous. Now do keep in mind that these will print as you print your document. Notice that they're all shown here. So they will print if you keep them enforced. And uh, it's very easy to turn them off as well. If you just go to line numbers and then select none, then they're gone. Okay, that's it. This concludes the video for producing line numbers in Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching.